In this video, I'm going to share with you what I would believe to be the best base defense in Madden 22. Now, just as a general base, you can pick it up, you can play it against anything, any formation. This is my favorite defense if I don't know what they're going to do and I just want something consistent. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now guys, uh, really excited to share this video with you. If you are, um, if you've not picked up my Big Nickel Over G defensive guide, I would really encourage you to do that, um, or my 46 defensive guide rather. Um, it has everything, it has a three through five nickel normal, three through five wide in it. It's got everything in it that you need. And um, the cool part about it is if you join my Patreon, it's only $10 to sign up for that. And it gets you access to everything, gets you access to every offensive guide, every defensive guide um, that I have. So if you want to check that out, uh, again, I'm going to put a link to that in the description. But basically what we want to do with this is we want our best cover corner to be at the wide side safety position. So for me, you see here I have Jair Alexander and then I've got um, Eric Stokes. So my safeties are the most important players in my defense. Um, so you see here, I got these two guys here. Then I've got just big, tall guys underneath, Kevin King, Sullivan, um, Razul Douglas, another really good one. I'm gonna actually use Adrian Amos in the slot. And then I've got um, Darnell Savage is gonna be my user. And then I've got Black as my linebacker over here. Now, like I said, this is a, a base defense. Just something that you can pick up and play against anybody. And I, the way I like to run this is I actually run with auto flip off, base alignment option defense on conservative and then you actually don't want to set zone drops for this defense and it's a real simple coverage but it's really really effective um and big nickel over g in my opinion is the best formation to do this from because you get these really good hot routes from your slot corner um so i'll show you kind of what it looks like here but it's really simple all we're going to do is we're going to come out we're going to shade down we're then going to show blitz so you see here it kind of looks like this and then from there, what I, all I like to do is cloud flat my corners. So just re-cloud flat them. And then what you'll see is from there, um, I like to outside third my safety on this bunch side. And then I'm gonna use her kind of the middle of the field and you have a decision to make. You can either um, put your, you can kind of say, you know what, I'm gonna guard the middle of the field myself or what you can do. And this is how I like to defend trip sets, by the way. We're gonna take this safety on the left side and we're gonna man him up on the square receiver. So you see, this is what it looks like. Now from here, like I said, you kind of have a decision. You can put this guy in the deep middle third if you want to, or you can say, you know what? I know that that man coverage is gonna do decent on a post route. All I'm gonna have to worry about is a seam streak. So I'll just kind of ha handle um, this side. So either way you can do that. I normally will put this guy in the middle third and then we're gonna use her, this guy right here, just like this. Now, from a blitzing perspective, you only have to rush um, uh, four people, but technically what you can do is your user counts as one of them. So what I can do on this is I can go ahead and drop my defensive end on the left side of the screen into a bluff blitz assignment, or a, a vert hook, I apologize. And then on the on the right side, the bluff blitz actually will count as a, as a, as a rusher. So you'll see right here, my bluff blitz on the right. Now, technically, my user's blitzed. I've got a bluff blitz, and I'm rushing four, even, even though I'm only rushing two. And like I said, you could pick this up and play this against anything. Now, let's say you don't want to man this guy up over here. What you can do is just put him in an outside third or leave him in the deep half. I like to do this against trips type sets like bunch like this because typically that guy's gonna be on a skinny post and normally I'm gonna have to use her the crosser anyway. So you'll see here from verticals, if I run if I run the verticals play, you're gonna notice that all we're gonna have to cover on this because these vert hooks will do such a good job, you're gonna see right here that we're just gonna lurk the crosser and you see how good this defense is and look at how fast they shed um, with this little two man rush. I love this two man rush. So real simple out of big nickel over G. Again, you can move this guy in if you want to kind of fake some pressure. Um, another one of my favorite things to do is like, let's say for example that you're watching this video and you're like, you know what? I'm gonna man this corner up. 
That's fine. Now you have a whole slew of things that you can do with this guy. You can put him in a deep third. You can now take this guy and put him in a curl flat. And then what you can do over here is you can still kind of run your core concept with this outside third to the right. And then you have the deep third kind of rolling into it. It's a real baity zone. And it would be really good against like a seam streak. I'll give you an example. Let's say that I, let's say that they run some, they run something like this. Um, you know, this is a really, um, you know, popular concept. And what you'll see is that this third will really lurk this. See how he gets back on this really well. That might look open right off the rip. And then he gets back and he can pick off that, that seam streak. So this is one of my favorite, favorite coverages um, in Madden for this. Now, one more thing that I want to point out real quick is let's say that you only want to do two of these outside thirds. If they do that, um, that seam streak that I was showing you, what you'll see is that this seam streak will actually get matched by the mid read. So if you wanted to leave your mid read, you certainly could um, against against bunch sets. Uh, but the problem with that is that you can't necessarily get that nice underneath coverage when you shade down that you'll get if you you know if you shade this down, this guy won't play as well. And I'll show you what'll happen. So again, if I outside third here, and then maybe let's say you know another thing that you could do is let's say that you outside third on one side and you deep half on the other side so like a cover six type of thing you can you can mess with that as well um that's something else that you can kind of mess around with something like that a little inverted cover two or whatever uh but anyways what you'll see is if i go smash return again that seam streak notice that this third um you see there like eventually it's going to get over the top so that's why i like to use with middle field i could just go with that and just trust the, the, the coverage. The reason I'm bringing this up is because what this allows me to do is if I can kind of rely on myself, if you will, I know that the post can't kill me on the left, right? And I'll show you what I mean. So if they, if they have an outside apprentice or whatever, and they run a skinny post on this left side, because of the type of man coverage we have, you see how he basically runs the route for him and he'll pick this off. This is one of the beautiful features of big nickel over G really good because of this. Okay. So I know I don't have to worry too much about that solo receiver running a post. All I really have to worry about on the right side is four verticals in the vertical wheel. So if I have this guy in a deep third, now my user, if they don't give me a route combination where I have to actually worry about a seam, then I, there's no reason for me to worry about a seam. I don't need a third on the left. So I'll show you what I mean. So in this four verticals play, the only route that I really have to worry about actually is none of them because the third will literally split the difference of the seam. So the only thing that you really need to worry about in this defense is a, is a streak either to the tight end, which is very unlikely, or a streak to the slot, which is fairly likely. Like if they're gonna streak one of those three guys, it's either gonna be the slot or the number three. They don't normally streak the tight end in this offense. Normally he's on a wheel or a corner route. So you have this outside third, and then now let's say you get this you know, concept like this or whatever you, you know, you, you do whatever you want. Maybe you do a, a double flat to the left or, you know, I, I would recommend a double flat to the right with maybe a bluff blitz on the left, whatever you wanna do, whatever floats your boat. But the thing I want you to notice here is as I'm lurking, oh, I see a streak, I'll just take it. And now they have to check it down. Now again, they could check it down underneath and take their little three yards, but there's not a lot of route combos this year where you really need a true cover, uh, like Tampa three or Tampa two style of D. This right here is pretty good. And again, you know, let's say for example, they play the play Z spot and go. As you're lurking, you see this streak. So you just go with the streak and look at that, boom. You see how good that is. So that is kind of how this can work for you. Um, if you wanted to, you want if you want to put more stress on your user, do it like that. If you want to have a little bit more freedom with your user, what I would do is on this left side, left-hand side here, um, go ahead and drop your defensive end into the vertical hook and then drop that guy into the, into the middle third. Now, if you want to have a third on the left, you can drop them in there. I'm just telling you from my personal experience, especially with bunch or any trips formation, this man up adjustment is really, really good. And you'll be able to see now I have so much more freedom with my user. You see there we get the tight end wheel and I'm just taking the crosser and you see it plays really, really well.
Now, again, you can apply this to anything. So let's say, for example, that they go to, um, let's say, for example, that they go to gun, uh, gun tight, okay? It's the same exact setup. The only difference here is, you know, we're going to go ahead and say, okay, well, they have two receiving threats. So because they can't just, we're not just running a solo check like, the, like we would in match coverage, then we're going to leave that outside third on the left, and then we're going to revert hook this guy. And as you can see, you're still rushing two, but you're still getting the sheds as if you were rushing four. And as you can see, this is a really, really simple defense that can be very safe. And again, this is a base defense. It's not the defense you're gonna play every single play, but against most offenses, this is a great little starter defense. You're mainly looking for the crosser or the corner or whatever the big, big route is that you need to take care of, but you got a ton of freedom with this defense. Thanks for watching the video. If you wanna learn more about this coverage, my favorite way to set this up, like I said, um, you can leave the slot corner on the bird hook, but one of the beauties of big nickel over G is this right here. We can actually put the slot corner in an outside third, as you can see, against any formation in this game. And then now we've got a ton of freedom with our, uh, you know, our safety if we want to use our him, or we could do something like this. This is one of my favorite defenses because because what you'll see is this outside third will really flow with the slot route. So wherever the slot goes, you see how he basically runs this corner out for him. It looks a lot more covered than it probably actually is, but this is just gonna force him to have to really work to be able to move. And as they do that, your job is to get their tendencies down and learn what are you gonna call in the right key situation. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you want to learn more about this defense, it is all in the Patreon. Best blitzing defense in Madden 22 by far on either console. Incredible coverage. All the match coverages that you want. Um, love this defense. I can't, I can't talk highly about it. The stuff that we've been putting in the membership over the course of the last two weeks has been absolutely incredible. So if you want to check that out, link in the description and you can go sign up. Join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks to get you access to everything that we've done over the course of the year and everything that we're going to continue to do while your membership is active. Thanks for watching. If you want to sign up, head on down to the description below and click the link down below.